everybody and today I'm giving you a little bit of a library haul. This is a very short haul but I just wanted to kind of talk about these books a little bit. Potentially you guys will have read them and will be able to kind of tell me whether I should make sure that I'm getting to these because basically I went to the library for one book, came back with four of course. You know, I don't really have plans for these other ones. They're just the books that I saw and I was like, oh yeah, I really want to read that someday. And so might as well take it with me from the library this time around. I think I can extend like my reservation like three times so I can potentially hang on to these for four months except if somebody else reserves them because they're desperate for me to let go of them. Uh, so let's see whether they actually get read within those four months. First up, let's talk about the book that I actually went there for, which is The Salt Path by Raynor Wynn. So in 2024 I am doing the TBR spin which is a um, like reading challenge let's call it more like that which is organized by freshly, freshly read pages and I once again forgot the second account but I will have it in the description down below and basically you choose at the beginning of a year a list of 12 um, books that you want to be reading in 2024 and then throughout the months they will be spinning for a prompt and then you try and fit one of those books um, into you know that prompt. Now for 2024 I decided that I was going to put all my oldest want to read books, uh, so the books that I added to Goodreads the longest ago, uh, I wanted to add all of those and so for the month of February, the prompt was a book that makes you feel like you're outside in the sunshine. Now, <laughs> the soft path takes place in the UK, so that's not necessarily a sunny place, though I will say that I have been there in amazing weather uh, when I went to Cornwall, basically did a trip around the lower half of the UK, and for a lot of it we didn't have great weather, but when we hit the Cornwall area we had such amazing weather. But in any case, I'm using this book for this prompt because this is a book in which we're looking at somebody who did the whole sort of like British coast line walk uh, by walking so by hiking uh, and you know I love hiking content when I um, during COVID years I really ex discovered a lot of hiking content on YouTube for example I've been following a few people who like hike um, like that and I just find it really interesting to read. I really love the book Wild as well. I really like hiking content to that extent and so when I found out about this book I also wanted to read it but I've just never been able to prioritize it and so now this book is going with me on my trip to Gran Canaria where I will be uh, reading this one on my balcony in the sunshine so you know that will definitely enhance this sort of like uh, sunny weather feeling that is requested by this prompt. The second book that I added is a book by an author for which I read a book in January and that is The Lido by Libby Page. So in January I read The 24 Hour Cafe by Libby Page which is a arc that I had really long, <laughs> for a really long time, I was really overdue that arc and I'm so annoyed at myself as well for that because it ended up being an amazing read. I think it was my first five star for this year and so I really enjoyed it. It had some sort of like wholesome vibes that I was really looking for in that book and so I'm expecting to have that same sort of vibe within the Lido. To be fair, I don't actually know what the Lido is about. Uh, we will <laughs> figure it out together here if I read the back. I was just like, yeah, sure, sign me up for another one by Libby Page and this book has been on my one to read list on Goodreads. Not entirely sure whether I removed it at some point or not um, but you know reading the 24-hour cafe definitely made me go like okay let's uh, put the Lido back on my radar. So it says the Lido holds so many memories for us all. For children who have never been to the seaside it is their summers and their freedom. For parents it is the memory of seeing their child swim for the first time. That moment when you just have to let go and let them fly and for me well for me it is my life. So that doesn't say much, it's a teaser, but so the Lido, which I guess is just like public swimming pool uh, in the UK, uh, I'm just expecting a sort of like, like the 24 hour cafe, a wholesome read which also um, tackles sort of like growth, self growth. Um, so yeah, that is that. Final book in English is a gigantic one but that is fitting because it is the gigantic book uh no the gigantic beard that was evil so this is a graphic novel uh and I don't actually know more about it uh, I know that um ha huh, now I have to remember names I won't remember names so it'll be on the screen it is recommended no by Jen Campbell 
I think her name is. She also has a YouTube channel and she highly recommended this graphic novel at one point in time. So when I saw this one available in my library, I was like, oh, a graphic novel, perfect. It's like a quick, fast read. Uh, and you know, this was highly recommended by her. So I'm very much looking forward to figure out what I think about this one. And then the final one that I have from my library is La Ciudad de las Bestias by Isabel Allende. So I've been meaning to read an Isabel Allende, but I really wanted to start with La Casa de los Espíritus, but it is never there in the library. I should really actually look up whether it even happened, because every time that I go to the library and I check out the Spanish section, I go to look for that book and it's like, ah, oh, it's not there today. But who knows, maybe they don't even have it in the Spanish edition. And so uh, this time around I was like, okay, I'm still gonna take it with me because uh, one of my um, sort of like goals for this year is to read five Spanish books. I already read one in the month of January, uh, but so Isabel Allende would be a perfect fit to finally try out throughout this year. This is the first book in a series, uh, and it is a fantasy series. So the title translates as The City of the Beasts, and um, I'm gonna have to read this one first, of course, because I'm gonna read it out to you guys because it is in uh, Spanish. Yeah, so it is an adventure story. We are following a um, little, uh, what, what is it? Yeah, a 15 year old boy from the United States who goes off to the Amazon forest for a expedition with his grandmother, Kate. He's joined by a 100 year old um, indigenous person as well as, um, who's this other person again? as well as another new companion and they set out into the Amazon where they, uh, the lines between reality and magic uh, start to fade. They, they are accompanied in their journey sometimes by people who are not of the living. The lines between men and gods apparently kind of blur and I'm expecting them to encounter some beasts as well. So it seems to be a magical realist adventure story and I am definitely looking forward to a little bit of an adventure story. I haven't had a sort of like real adventure story in a while. Uh, but those are the books from my library. Uh, let me, definitely let me know which one of these sound interesting, which one you think I should be prioritizing. But we all know now that the salt path is the one that I will be prioritizing because in one week time when I'm going to Gran Canaria, I will be putting this one in my suitcase in order for me to read when I'm over there so uh, it will hopefully happen when I'm there you know holiday is a little bit unpredictable in terms of how much reading time you will have but I'm definitely expecting to be able to fit that one in but so yeah with that I'm gonna leave you guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys for the next one bye